Hi and welcome back to Lama's Green Music Studio. Now I'm going to show you how to properly assemble the clarinet. Clarinet comes in several different parts. From bottom up, there's bell, the lower joint, the upper joint, the barrel, and the mouthpiece. The mouthpiece also has a reed and a ligature. You start off by properly greasing all the cork parts. So there's one on the lower joint, here, two on the upper joint, here and here, and then one on the mouthpiece. And you can use any core grease, I have one like this, and you take a little bit of it and then just roll it around the cork like this. So you make sure it's nice and smooth and don't put too much grease on because you don't want the other parts to fall off. Once you're done with that, you start off assembling the clarinet. You take first the bell and then the lower joint. You hold the lower joint very firmly where there's the most wood, so at the bottom of the lower joint. And then you twist in both parts, something like this, in opposite directions. So, you keep holding the lower joint. You take the upper joint and you have to make sure that this bridge key is pressed down. I'll show you this bridge key is this one that moves like this. You have to make sure that one's pressed and then I'm gonna turn around so you can see it better. While holding this you start off by aligning these four keys on the upper joint that are on the side with the thumb rest and then you slide them in the same way as you did the bell and the lower joint. You have to make sure that the upper bridge key and the lower bridge key are aligned. So if you press the lower bridge key, the upper one should move as well, like this. Once you're done with this, you take the barrel and then you twist it on in the same manner. You have to make sure you still hold the upper joint firmly, like this. And you repeat the same thing with the mouthpiece. You have to make sure that the mouthpiece aligns with the register key at the back. It's very important. So you can see that the mouthpiece is kind of in a line with this register key. So it's not going in opposite directions. So once you're done with this, you first pick the ligature and then put it over the mouthpiece. You have to be very careful that you don't hit the tip. It's a very sensitive area. And then, finally, pick the reed, you wrap it a little bit, and then you slide it between the mouthpiece and the ligature. You have to, sometimes you have to lift the ligature a little bit to create enough space, and then slide it in like this. Hopefully you can see. There. So now it's gonna be quite crooked. And then we have to make sure it's aligned. So first we start at the bottom. We slide it a bit to the left. Let me see, I have to look from the left angle. Yeah, so this is good. And then once you're happy with this, so there has to be a little bit of it on each end. You press with your thumb and you keep it there in place. And then use your left hand to move the upper part of the reed left and right. And you have to make sure it's nice and even in the middle, like this. It shouldn't be too high or too low because otherwise the reed is not going to vibrate properly. Now let me put it back in the right place as it was before. See I'm using the left hand to kind of move it around and put it in the right place. And then sometimes I correct it with the right thumb as well. And then finally once you're happy with this, you keep holding it with your right thumb and then secure the ligature properly. Ligature also has to be aligned with the reed and the register key. And then finally, you tighten the screws so that the reed doesn't move around. Let's see. Great. The reed is nice and firm and doesn't move. Now, let's see if it works. <laughs> Thanks for watching.